I'm back again with a big Primark haul for you guys. And this time round, we actually have some cute bits for spring, finally. As much as I've been really enjoying the winter fashion, I am getting a little bit bored, I have to say. <laughs> a little bit bored. As you can see, this haul is a very neutral haul, but I have got some of their gorgeous spring pajamas, which are really nice and vibrant. And I've also got lots of home bits as well for Easter slash spring, which are really pretty and colorful. So I'm really excited to get into the haul and share with you guys everything that I found. For any Anyone that's wondering, I go to the Lakeside store, which is my favourite store in Essex. The Chelmsford one, the Colchester one, and the Basildon one. Don't even bother. <laughs> They're so rubbish. Whereas the Lakeside one is, it's always the best of the best. Even though this time round, it was a little bit there was some stuff like you can see the rail is not exactly falling to bits because it's so heavy with items but you know there was still some decent vines in there i want to give a quick shout out to today's video sponsor anna louisa they are hands down the brands i wear the most when it comes to jewelry i picked out a few pieces from their website last week they're here already i've actually got the first pair in today so it's nice to switch things up because i've been living in their like little huggy hoops recently but i've now got these ones they're like a gorgeous kind of like teardrop sort of shape i literally love them they're so cute and they're the perfect size because sometimes this style of earring can just be too big. I don't know, I just feel a little bit... It's just too much for me, whereas this size is actually perfect for me. Something I've been like really wanting to get into more is rings too. So I did actually pick out two rings. The first one I went for has got like a gorgeous sort of twisty design. And then I also went for one that I thought could work really well, either stacked together, just like this, as you can see. Also, excuse my hands, I need to like scrub off my fake tan and redo it. I thought they could look really cute together or just to wear them individually. And then I went for a new pair of earrings again. These ones are like kind of huggy ones in like an X sort of shape. They're giving high ends, but guys, honestly, the price price points are really really affordable for how great the quality is so I'm going to leave all the information down below and of course I've got a cheeky little discount code for you as well so I'll pop that on screen and down below for you if you want to try them out. With that being said I just want to say thank you Anna Louisa for working with me as always it's always a pleasure and now let's get into the Primark items. Okay I feel like this jacket right here is staring right at you it's staring and you might actually recognize this because I did get this in my last Primark haul but in grey and then I saw they bought it out in camel now this is like the perfect jacket to have especially now we're kind of getting a little bit more mild in the weather department especially in spring this wouldn't have cut it on a cold blitz wind today but it will definitely work on just a more mild day where you still want a little jacket it's such a gorgeous short trench coat but it isn't cropped it's like the perfect length if you just want kind of like your bum to be semi-covered that sort of length the fabric is felt it's really nice and soft i love the dramatic collar on this one and it's quite simplistic but they're really really lovely honestly you would not expect them to be as affordable as they are so it was only 28 pounds now i know for primark you might be thinking hazel that isn't affordable but try and find something like this elsewhere for 28 pounds i don't think you will be not for the quality um i got mine in a size small they have got some really really gorgeous gym wear pieces at the minute and just like lounge wear active wear sort of vibes so I picked this up next it's just like a simplistic little sweater I got mine in a size small and this was only 11 pounds they also did this in pink and also in blue so it was a couple colors to choose from it's just a cropped slouchy crew neck and I really like this one where it's got like the raw hem it just adds a little bit of character to it it's got nice big sleeves as well wear this with like leggings or joggers I know they're not the most exciting pieces but these do excite me because I literally live in hoodies and just comfy pieces all the time is my point proven today whenever I find something that's like so soft like this honestly it's so so soft I get really excited because I know I'm gonna get the use out of it Primark had some really gorgeous tops and bodysuits and they were giving like Zara sort of vibes but for a fraction of the price so this little top right here was only six pounds I got this in a size small and I don't know if it's gonna show on camera or not but it's almost like a washed almost acidy sort of finish it's ribbed it's got the nice soft high up neckline which I love and then it's slightly crops in length. I did actually get a comment the other day from one of you lovely ladies saying that you're kind of fed up with me just having cropped everything, which I'm going to take that on board. I will try and find some more longer pieces because I do appreciate not everyone wants to wear crop tops. The only reason why I kind of get all the cropped ones is because I'll wear quite high jeans and then nothing really shows. Um, so I just find it easier than having like all the excess fabric. But yeah, obviously everyone likes different styles. So I will take that comment on board when I'm doing future hauls. I will try anyways, but the fashion is kind of more like this at the minute I find. But anyways, it's so nice. It's a gorgeous neutral shade, really nice and soft. I would personally just style this with a nice pair of jeans, just a nice easy chuck on top. So they're all slightly different. Next up we have a bodysuit, but it is in a similar sort of finish. 
I got this one again in a small and this was £10. This one is a gorgeous acidy sort of wash grey. Now I love grey at the minute and I thought this would be so nice to wear with either some joggers or again with like jeans. Even though a top like this is so basic, it can look really put together, especially if you do your hair and makeup nice and you have a nice pair of jeans on. You can definitely go out for like a brunch date or shopping wearing this and you're gonna look really cute. Uh, just to show you it a little bit more close up, you can see it's got a nice scoop neckline, the front and the back are the same, so it will be a little bit lower on the back. And this time round, this is a bodysuit. Okay, so next up in that same sort of range, we have another bodysuit. This one, again, size small, and this was seven pounds. This is like, um, I wanna say it's like a taupey sort of gray color. It's like a warm, grazy sort of tone. Really, really soft, guys, like super, super soft. Really stretchy as well, and again, it's in that ribbed fabric, the high neckline, and then this one, again, is a bodysuit. I have to be honest, actually, I'm not really a fan of bodysuits anymore. I used to love them, like every time there was a bodysuit option, I would be so happy, but for some reason, I do prefer a cropped top now, just like a kind of long cropped top, not like ultra cropped, but just, yeah, that over a bodysuit. I don't really know why either. I think it can look more flattering, which probably sounds crazy, but there's something about one of those crop tops. It just sits so nice with a pair of jeans. But anyways, we'll see how I can style this. It's just a nice basic piece, isn't it? The last of the basics. So again, size small for six pounds. This one's the same as the first one I just shared with you, the neutral one, but this time round, it's in a gorgeous navy acid wash. It's like a navy sort of gray color. I love navy. I didn't expect to ever like it. It wasn't really ever a color I was drawn to, but recently I've really, really stepped into my navy era. How many eras do we all want to have? I feel like <laughs> everyone has eras constantly now. I've got some gorgeous navy gym wear from Adenola and I'm obsessed. Next on my wish list is to get like a nice Adenola navy hoodie. Um, but in the meantime, we have a nice long sleeve, just navy sort of gray color, nice crop top, which I'll definitely be wearing with jeans. Okay, so next we have a little fleecy number. I actually thought this was really cute and this is so similar to one that H&M had, but the H&M one, guys, was a lot more expensive. So this was only 13 pound, like so cheap. I got this in a small again and it's a gorgeous beige color. You can see the kind of color palette I've gone for for this haul. It's very, very neutral, but you will be excited to know my choice of color for this spring is baby pink and also blue because basically I'm a neutral girl through and through. Like I love wearing neutral and I do try and experiment with color, but I always come back to the same conclusion. I'm not a colorful person. I like my neutrals. It's what I feel most confident in. However, I did really fall in love with blue last spring. And when I say blue, I mean like a nice light shade of blue. I also adore baby pink. So I think for this spring and summer, the color choice that will be added to my palette will be pink in addition to last year's blue. I hope that there will be a little bit more color kind of trickling through in future hauls. But yeah, bear with me. <laughs> Anyways, going off on a tangent as always, but this is really nice. It's really nice and soft, nice zip up. This was like a nice light pair of leggings or black leggings, but this were like cream leggings, little Uggs. You're just gonna look so cute and it's so cozy as well. I can't keep you waiting any longer for these pajamas because they're so gorgeous. They also had a robe with the same print of this. And I think they also had like the cami and the shorts maybe as well. But I am a long sleeve and long trouser kind of girl. Until it's summer and I can't be in this, I just, I love to be covered. I just find it more comfortable. I don't know why. I'm sure there's other girls out there who can relate to this. Now, when I first saw this, I was actually thinking, oh, does it look a little bit, I don't know, like my grandma's curtains or something. And then I thought, no, Hazel, you're being ridiculous is giving Ted Baker and Ted Baker is that higher price point luxury sort of items. So yeah, I think this is actually really gorgeous. It's just like a off-white cream sort of base. And then you have all of these beautiful flowers almost in a water color sort of design if you can see what I mean by that. I just think this is so feminine and pretty. And then you've got the nice big cuffs and also this trim here too. So that's the top. Um, I got the top in a size small, I believe. Um, yes, I did. And this was 12 pounds. I did go for a size medium in the bottoms because I am bigger on the bottom half and I wanted to make sure they fit. They definitely seem quite generous in size. And these bottoms were 12 pounds. They've got quite a small waistband to be fair, but then you can cinch that in as you can see just like flared at the bottom. So I'm really looking forward to wearing these. I think they're really pretty. And I have literally made it my mission to get rid of any ugly pajamas. Like I do not own any ugly pajamas. Any of my old leopard print pajamas, pajamas that had sloths on them, mix match ones, ones with stains, anything that is just not cute, they are gone. They have 
been retired. They are never coming back because I've said this so many times. So sorry if you've heard it from me already, but I'm making it my mission to always be presentable enough to answer the door. And that sounds weird, but I was going through a constant stage of literally not wanting to answer the door because I just looked so scruffy and I thought I can't live my life like this. It's ridiculous. So I always want to be presentable enough, even in my pajamas, to answer the door to the postman and not feel ashamed. So that's basically why I've just got rid of anything that's mix match, doesn't match, ugly. We don't want to be that person. We want to be put together and clean. And I think a matching nice, clean, fresh pajama set absolutely does that. Okay, now let's get on to home stuff. And I've got some really gorgeous bits to share with you. Okay, I think I'm going to start with the more Eastery things first off. They honestly have, guys, the cutest things. So for £2.50, I got this stunning little Easter egg. It's ceramic and it's kind of got like that iridescent sort of finish to it. They did a majority of the things in yellow, blue, and then also in pink. I think some of the things had lilac as well, but I just went for pops of pink mainly because I, I love pink. It's very cute. It reminds me of my old apartment if you were here back then. Um, so yeah, I just got one of those for a really cute little decorative display because I am probably going to be decorating for Easter this year and I'll do a video of it. I bought something really similar to this for autumn um, and they've actually bought this back out but for Easter. So this was £3.50 and it is the most stunning little toadstool but in pink. I'm sorry, how cute is this? They only did this in pink, by the way. I did not see this in any other color, but I think this is literally adorable. I'm obsessed, and I think £3.50 is such a bargain for this as well. I also got two little egg cups. They had these in quite a few colors. These were only £1.50 each, which I was really impressed with. Um, so this is what they look like. They're a really cute design. They're almost like kind of flowery on the top. Okay, the next thing I need you guys to tell me and be honest if I should keep or return. I got four of these and they were £2.50 each. So it's £10. So do we want to spend £10 or not? Let me tell you the backstory before I show you them. Because all the stuff I've bought so far is pink, I thought I can't just have pink for Easter because we need a bit more colour. So I thought, well, adding yellow in is very nice for Easter. So that's basically why I got these. And I actually looked at them and I went away and then I came back to them about half an hour later because I was really on the fence. But anyway, they're basically like little daffodil like candle holders. So they're quite a bright yellow. If they were a really light yellow, I think I'd be a lot more inclined to keep them. But they're quite a dark yellow. But then they have got the pink on the edge. I'm just worried are they going to actually match or are they just going to stand out and look weird? Oh, I did actually get these two, which aren't pink. This is a 24 pack of napkins for only £1.50. These really sweet little bunny napkins and I love the colour, that like minty sort of blue as well. Then I got these. I got these with the intention of using them for like my Easter display, but I will be giving these to my mum when I'm finished because I know she's going to love them because she's obsessed with flowers. So these were £4.50 and let me just open them up and show you. So you get three in here. They also do matching side plates and bowls in the same design. So here's the first one. They're just a little bit leery for me. Like day I just won't use these day to day. This one is really cute. How sweet is that? And then the last one, my mum is gonna adore this one, honestly, adore it. The last one is like a sunflower. That's all the home stuff. Now we're back on to beauty and accessories. Um, I mean, these aren't accessories, these are underwear, but I thought I'd just show you. These were five pound for a pack of three. I just got these. So you get the chocolate color, you get the neutral in the middle, and then you get this like beigey sort of taupey shade. Now these are really soft. Like this part here is really nice and soft. And then the lace is nice and stretchy. I'm sorry, but anyone out there that actually buys these from Primark when, when the whole thing here is lace, what are you doing? They're so uncomfortable. Whereas these ones are really nice because they're really nice and soft. I also got myself some little mitts. These were £1.50 just for a pack of two. I've been buying these honestly for years. Like, oh my God, I've literally been buying these from Primark for over 10 years now. I do not use makeup wipes day to day, but it's always good to have them in your house. So for £1.30, I got a triple pack of the Gentle Cleanse ones. They're just great for travels as well, like because you can just pop a little packet in your suitcase or handbag. I want to get a little bit more into doing different hairstyles, especially on my TikTok. So if you're not following me, make sure you do. Um, so yeah, I got some hair grips because these are the things that I never seem to be able to find around the house. Um, I also got, sorry, I feel like this last part of the haul's a bit chaotic and all over the place, but I got some eyelashes. So I actually got two different styles. Now, if you know me, you know I only ever buy Dubai and Paris, the Sosu lashes. But I saw these ones and I actually thought they looked beautiful. Just slightly different, but they're very similar to the style that I always wear. Today I've got Dubai on. These are Dubai, but I literally, I cut them up and make them so small. Again, go to my TikToks, I've uploaded a tutorial on what I do. So the first ones I got are the Kylie ones. They're five pound, but honestly guys, they are the best lashes in the business. I love them. These are like really nice and wispy. So these are Haley lashes. These are so pretty. Look at those, they're so fluttery. And then the last thing I got for three pound 50 is two headbands. So I got this gorgeous, 
greeny shades and then I also got this nice neutral. If I'm honest, I only really wanted this shade. I wasn't really bothered by this because I don't really wear this color. I like it, but I don't have anything in this color for gym wear. Whereas this color is so beautiful. And they're in like a gym sort of fabric too. They're not in like cotton or anything. They're a nice gym sort of material fabric. And the base is nice and stretchy. Um, but that concludes my Primark haul. Cool. That's everything that I got. I really hope you guys enjoyed. And yeah, I'll definitely keep going down there every month like I always do. I didn't film a come and shop with me this month just because there was a lot of the same stuff that there was that was there last month. So I thought I can't be bothered to just film the same stuff for you. But I will go back again in a few weeks time and then do my standard like what's new in for March. I'll probably, yeah, I'll probably go back early March, literally in like two weeks time. But anyways, take care. I really hope you enjoyed. Thanks again to Anna Louisa. If you are looking for some great jewelry, maybe a gift for someone or maybe on a wish list for yourself, get yourself Anna Louisa and use my discount code. You will not be disappointed. I promise. Honestly, I love them. Um, but anyways, take care guys. See you soon.